ya. Hey there, guys. I know I mentioned in the previous video, it may go out before this video, or it may not. Uh, I'm not sure, and I do apologize um, if it goes out after this video. Really tired right now. I'm currently taking a walk on a rather not so busy trail. Today is officially uh, New Year's Eve, last day of 2023, and uh, it's kind of hard to believe because I remember this time last year I took the same trail, or maybe it was the year before, I don't know. It kind of felt like, it seemed like yesterday, I guess you could say, but it kind of didn't. Don't even ask me why, um, but... Uh, it has been one wild ride in 2023. We've had some ups and downs. Uh, I've dealt with some losses uh, of family members. Most of them furry and four-legged. Um, if I remember as far back as 2019, I lost patches. And then in 2021... I ended up losing Muffin and Mia in the same year, about almost two years later. Useless is the only living cat that we got left. She's 17 years old and still thriving so far. I guess if Patches could make it till she was almost 23 years old, then... I'm almost certain useless could too, but enough about that, um, because that's not what this video is really about. It's not about losing animals or anything like that. It's about reflecting back on 2023. 2023 was kind of a bit of a yo-yo um, this year. Like I said, had some ups and downs. Uh, between still dealing with the pandemic to this day, although it's not quite as bad now, even though we got a couple of new variants. Supposedly the Omicron. Um, and then there's inflation and housing costs going up, as well as food prices and interest rates going up. Those are some of the bad things of 2023, but there's also been some good things going on in 2023. On my end, taking a walk, going for daily walks or somewhat daily walks. I, I haven't been going on daily walks like I usually normally would anymore. Ever since the pandemic hit, it hasn't been quite the same. But other than that, I have been going for walks a little bit more, which is a good thing, today being one of them. And uh, being able to, even though I don't upload on YouTube anymore as much as I used to anyways, I do at least upload something, something although the videos aren't all that great. But they don't have to be, <laughs> which is a bonus. Um, on general side of things, um, our summer this year, with regard to that, the temperatures, yeah, they were up to like 45 degrees Celsius. That's after Humidex and all that. But it didn't last as long, which is a good thing. So that's a plus. Not everybody likes the heat. Um, we also, uh, since 2022, and I haven't mentioned this, uh, my parents have adopted a dog named Misty. Um, although her personality is nowhere near as uh, the same as uh, Mia's. She is still a friendly dog and 
very hyper. Well, she's a little over a year old, so obviously. And I also learned some new things about Misty over the last year, maybe two years. She likes to chase a laser pointer and I do have video of that. I actually got two videos. One that I recorded and then there was another one, I'm gonna walk over here, that my mother recorded um, recently. I wanna say maybe a few days ago, maybe even a week or two ago. And uh, that's basically, that's basically what's been going on. I don't even know why I'm walking out off the trail like this. This is kind of a first for me because I don't usually come out this way on the trail, but I figured, you know, why the heck not? You only live once. I don't know. Oh, there's a shed over there I didn't even notice. Is that a shelter over there? I don't think I'm supposed to be down here, so I'm gonna have to get out get out of this area soon. Um I don't know if I can tell. I don't think it's obvious, but the other negative thing about 2023 was uh, a rise in homelessness. A lot of people are now living out in the street. Um, I mean, yes, mental health, drug addiction, and whatever else. I mean, yeah, that is a common reason, but this time around, it's gotten worse, mainly because the housing prices have gone up and there's not very many jobs and uh, the people that do have jobs that want to be housed, they find themselves out in the street because they can't find a home to live in, not just for themselves, but for people with children as well. It's really sad and it's not something that should happen to anybody regardless of who they are whether they have kids whether they don't have kids or whatever it has become a growing issue and that sort of thing I don't like to talk about on my channel because I don't feel that it's really my place to talk about issues with regard to homelessness and whatnot but the reason why I'm bringing it up on this video is simply because it has been a hot topic for many people in 2023 and there's no telling how long it's going to continue, hopefully not for much longer. I think our I think our governments need to get their heads out of their behinds and actually take action and not just simply talk about it because yeah if you're coming up if you're trying to find ways to get people off the streets that's fine but at what point at what point do we need to just sit around and do nothing about it or at what point do we need to make a stand and be like you know what we've talked about it we've contemplated it long enough more action needs to be taken and so far that hasn't happened and it's pretty upsetting um, hopefully hopefully come 2024 though uh, things turn around and people actually have homes to live in and I'm really hoping regardless of who's in power in government that something is done about it 
and people are no longer on the streets. They have a warm place to live. And they don't have to worry about losing their housing. Um, that's really all I wanted to say with regard to at least another negative of 2023. So, but I do wanted to get that out there, get that out of the way. Hopefully never talk about it again on this channel, but who knows? There's going to always be something. But um, a lot of other good things have been happening in 2023. Uh, Christmas this year, with regard to Christmas, it's been relatively good. Christmas this year is obviously different uh, than it was last Christmas. I know, I know last Christmas I went to my parents' house uh, for a day to celebrate Christmas. We had a turkey dinner, got to spend time with Misty and whatever else. This year, though, is a little different, and if you've already seen the video, if it comes out before this one, you guys obviously know if it hasn't come up or gone up before this video, you guys will learn about it later on. Maybe we shall see, but um, got to spend time at my brother's place, stayed the night for the first time on the couch. Because my brother doesn't have a guest room anymore as of right now. Um, he might still, he might get one later on, but it's, there's just no telling. But um, it was pretty interesting. I, uh, my brother and I each got a gift, which is really all, normally we get like 10, 15 gifts and stuffed stockings every year for Christmas. Uh, this year was different. We didn't uh, we didn't reveal anything in stockings this year, nor did we get a whole lot of gifts, which is totally fine with me because Christmas, and I know a lot of people have said this before. I know I've said it. It's not about the presents. It's not about what you get on Christmas, but it's about spending time with family, celebrating the birth of Jesus if you're deeply religious. You don't have to be. If you choose not to be, I mean, it doesn't matter. And I know some people celebrate other uh, holidays other than Christmas, such as Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, and there are other... Christmas celebration, or other, sorry, celebrations that have nothing to do with any of the holidays that I had just mentioned. But yes, this Christmas of 2023 is definitely different uh, than what I had celebrated a year earlier. And... A lot of it is due to the fact that both my parents are out. They're going on. They're they're traveling cross country. There's no telling when they'll be coming back. Uh, as of right now, because for one thing, we don't know exactly when they'll be back. Um, I ha I did hear a little re re that they might come back sometime in May or June of next year, which is not that far off, or they'll come back a little bit later. I'll walk back. We're not sure. But uh, other than that, it's been a rather interesting Christmas this year. Uh, this New Year's Eve is obviously a little strange because... And it has nothing to do with my parents going on a road trip or nothing. But a lot of it has to do with the weather. Me not knowing whether or not I was going to do a video like this for the new year and whatever else. 
more so the weather than anything. If you can't already tell from the beginning till probably this point in the video, we finally got some snow on the ground, which is kind of interesting. It's not something that you see every day anymore, at least where I am. Because usually, when I was a little kid, we used to always have snow as early as November. And we sometimes still do. I remember back in... I, I, I do remember back in, I want to say November of either... It might have been 2016 or maybe 2017. I, I, I don't know. I can't... Uh, answer the question in that regard. But I remember back in late October or early November of 2017, or halfway through November, I should say, we started getting snow and more and more snow started piling up and we had snow from that moment on until probably March or April of 2018. And, uh, that was like the most snow that we've had, I want to say, in a single year. Um, but more recently, I think as far back as 2019 now. Um, as far back as 2019, all the way to this point, our winters have been starting late. Christmas this year... And I want to say two years ago, um, I want to say those Christmases, and especially this year, we ended up having a green Christmas this year, which was kind of weird, but it's becoming a new normal. And it's probably not, we probably will never go back to having white Christmases anymore thanks to climate change and I know this year I know this year in 2023 and I do want to mention this one other thing there's been a lot of talk about potentially having electric vehicles and I did see on a news website that uh, they created a an electric truck. And I thought, well, that's kind of cool. Chances of having an all-electric vehicle, so mm, it's nil. Some people still like to drive gas cars, and that's fine too, to a, to a degree. Um, we all know sometimes, well, they, there's been a lot of talk about that this year, 2023, and they'll probably keep talking about it again in 2024, and that's basically what's been happening in the background. Cool, eh? The perks to taking this trail. I don't usually take this trail very often. Every once in a blue moon I'll, I'll take the trail, but other days I'm just like, you know what? Around here, where I'm living, there are three different ways, or three different areas I can go on these trails. Um, there's one trail that I usually take a lot when I just get out and go for a walk. There's another trail, this one included, by the way, that, um, that you can take to get downtown. This trail will take you a, a little longer, because this trail is longer than the other one. And then there's one pass across that river that you can also go to to head downtown. So there are two different trails you can go if you want to head downtown, but 
this one in particular that I'm on right now is probably a very long trail to go on to. So unless you have a bicycle or you're with somebody, it's best that you don't take this trail completely by yourself. If you're trying to get super, super far. Uh, lucky for me, I'm not going very far today. And I'm not heading downtown either, so... Works out just fine for me. But, uh, but yeah, I'm actually rambling on. I'm getting a little bit tired. And I think it's time to end this video here, finish up my walk. And I will probably start editing this video as well as my previous videos that I have been recording over the last week and uh, I'm going to end this video right here hopefully 2024 hopefully the year 2024 will be a much better year not, not just for me personally but for everyone regardless of who they are how bad their lives, how good or bad their lives are, or what kind of an upbringing they had as children, or whatever else. I'm just, just everybody in general, doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, what your life, or how good or bad your life is. All I can say is, Happy New Year. Time to say goodbye to 2023. And hello to 2024. Brand new year, hopefully. Brand new start to everybody's lives, hopefully. And my message to all the party goers out there on New Year's Eve. Please don't drink and drive. Be responsible. And if you do get drunk, please stay. Uh... Have a designated driver if you have to, if you aren't in anyone's home. And uh, also, if you are at a friend's house and you do get drunk there, stay there for the night until you're sober. And this will be my last video of 2023. My absolute final video of this year. Hopefully more videos to come in 2024, although I will not guarantee that I'm going to upload every single day or every week. In case if anyone's ever noticed, I don't upload as much as I should. I know I said that I was going to put more videos out, but <laughs> obviously that's not going to happen, as you could already tell, but... Look, I, I, I've got a real life going on off, off YouTube, okay? I mean, what else is there to say? But, um, hope everyone's having a great new year. Hope everyone had a good Christmas. And that's basically it. So, happy new year, everybody. Time to say goodbye to 2023. Hello to 2024. And hopefully, hopefully, hope for some good days ahead afterwards. We shall see. This is, uh, this is Patches84 signing off. I'm going to finish my walk, get these videos uploaded, edited first, and I will see you guys sometime in 2024. But until then, have a great new year, and I will see you guys later. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I want to thank you all for watching. If you guys want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And also, do not forget to hit the notification bell. This is Patches84 signing off, and we'll see you guys next time.